Welcome to this Windows uh, Fix-It video and uh, on the Easy Computer Fixes channel. And today we're going to talk about another piece of software that is extremely useful for anyone that needs to check a computer for viruses, malware and rootkits on a computer. This is part of my tools that I use every day, every week when I go to my clients to fix computers that are infected. And it is made to actually be used with some other uh, malware and antivirus software. So for example, uh, you can scan with your antivirus, scan with uh, Malwarebytes, anti-malware, and also add this to the scan and the reason why is because each program has uh, you know some types of malware that it can detect and others that they have difficult times seeing actually so um, you go to adlist.com slash softwares slash row killer the link will be posted below the video now be very careful because you will probably see a lot of people say, go and go there, malware. This is not malware. The Rogue Killer is a very good piece of software. And actually, when I can show you what it looks like, this is what it looks like. But if your computer is infected, you will probably have um, your antivirus say that uh, this is malware. Don't download this. It's dangerous. Or even Windows say, well, don't ex don't execute this file. It's dangerous. That is because your computer is infected. So instead of downloading this, it's trying to download something else. And that's why you get these messages. So this, if you're not infected or not infected enough to create these problems, this will download and actually works very well. But be careful and be careful with the page on many many computers that I've actually uh, downloaded this malware tends to replace the download page with a spoof page that wants to make you download something else so it's very 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 important that you be careful that you download the right software and if it doesn't work on your computer then use another computer or go to a friend's computer and download it from there, put it on a CD or a USB thumb drive and bring it back home and run it from the thumb drive. When you are on the web page of Atlas Software, simply go down the page, past the premium, past the PayPal buttons. You will see that at some point you get to please choose a version and mirror so you can download it from any one of these uh, spots on the web. I usually use cloud but you can use local and it doesn't really matter. Um, make sure you choose the correct version which is portable 64 bits or 32 bits. So make sure that you use the correct version because if you have a 64 bit machine you need to have 64 bit um, version or else it doesn't work. Um, if you're not sure, don't know how to look, they've uh, actually added something nice now. There's installer 3264, which is quite cool because this prevents you from having to choose. But if you know, it's you know better probably to just download the correct version. Now, when you choose the version to download, you'll see it download. You see here on the bottom left, row killer x64. This is the name it's supposed to have. Make sure that it's downloading something called Row Killer X64 or X32 if you chose the 32 bits. And the reason why is because, once again, if you are infected by malware, you can be sent to a download page that is not Row Killer at all. So don't believe anyone that says, no, this is malware, don't download. This is a correct uh, piece of software to remove and fix your computer. And all of these people that will mention, 
well this page is full of adware this page is malware well they are infected they're the ones that have the malware and they just don't understand it so you click yes to run this piece of software and everything and once it's done you'll have a pre-scan that it's going to do and once the pre-scan is done you'll be able to click the scan button on the upper right of the screen of the window now this software will give you different things that it's not sure that are right or not and it's actually going to tell you for example here in yellow it says uh, well you know there's something weird some suspicious pat for example here that it says now this is normal because I've tried something to uh, have it at least display part of uh, what it could be so um, you'll have these you have registry now everything that is gray everything that is um, you know detected here will have these one weird uh, link in it you know with colors usually gray orange uh, some will be green green means that it's okay uh, for example here in the uh, rootkit stuff uh, everything's green that means that well it's telling me that everything it found here is correct it's normal um, and if it finds stuff that you're not sure then what you can do is actually simply uh, you know right click select everything if you can when you can for example here you can select all which will remove this stuff that you see here um, and once you've selected everything by right clicking you just click del delete and it will actually delete everything that it found uh, in most cases it will ask you for a, uh, a restart or reboot of your machine uh, but not all the time it depends what it's going to actually uh, check for once that is done anyways it's always better to reboot a computer when you've uh, used any pieces of software like this and this is very specific rogue killer detects certain forms of rootkits of malware that other pieces of software don't detect and that's why this is part of my tools that I use for fixing malware on a computer so if you're uh, uh, fixing your own computer maybe you're suspecting that something's wrong or maybe you're going to a friend's house or your parents or anything and you're the tech guy uh, this is one of those tools that you'll need to make sure that your computer is not infected and you use it in combination with another malware software like malware bytes which is excellent uh, also maybe a scan with a virus scan uh, is also uh, something interesting to do and hopefully this will help you uh, remove malware from computers if you enjoy our videos why not subscribe to our channel you'll be informed when new videos are online if you have any comments questions on what you've seen let us know as I've said if you are going to post a message that says this is malware uh, well you are infected my friend that's why you think it's malware uh, because it, it is really really not rogue killer is a well-known piece of software to remove malware from pretty much every tech guy so thank you for watching